My name is Randy Benson, I'm the son of longtime third base coach Vern Benson. My dad coached for the St. Louis Cardinals uh, halfway through his 1961 season through the 1964 season. Uh, then he went to the Yankees in 1965-1966 as their first base coach. And from there, he went to the Cincinnati Reds in 1967-68-69 with Dave Bristol being the manager. And then he, my dad came back to the Cardinals in 1970 through 1975 as their third base coach under Red Shane Deast. Um, going back to 1961, my dad was, a, he started out the year, he was in Portland, Oregon, which was a AAA, AAA affiliate for the St. Louis Cardinals. He was a manager in Portland, and Johnny King got the job as a manager in St. Louis halfway through the season. Uh, my dad and Johnny King had formed a friendship years before that when my dad played for Johnny in the minor leagues. And when Johnny got the job in St. Louis as our manager, he called my dad in Portland and asked my dad to join his staff as his third base coach. And so we had to pack up everything in Portland and move to St. Louis. Uh, of course, our dad, he flew on ahead because he had to get joined the team as early as possible. Uh, so when we get to St. Louis, we uh, rented a house in Florissant in 1961 and 1962. Uh, cannot remember where we lived in 63 or 64, but uh, it was in the St. Louis area. But at the time, I didn't realize it, but I, I lived a childhood dream. Um, I, I was a big time Cardinal fan growing up because of my dad. Uh, he was in the Cardinalization most, most of his career. But when we came to St. Louis in 1961, uh, I would go to the ballpark with my dad every day when they were at home. And I had my own uniform that they gave me with my dad's number, number eight on the back and his name, our name, Benson on the back. And to me, that was, that's my favorite number and because of my dad's number and my next favorite number is number six and that's of course Stan Musil's number. Um, but uh, the first day I went to the ballpark with my dad, he took me around the clubhouse, introduced me to all the players and uh, I suited up in the uniform and I'd go out on the field. Uh, this is every day that summer when they were Cardinals were in town and I would go in the outfield and I would shag fly balls with Stan Musil, uh, Lou Brock, Kurt Flood, um, and then uh, sometimes, uh, every day, my dad would hit ground balls to the infielders. He would have me go to first base to take throws from the infielders. Uh, uh, Kim Boyer, Julian Javier, Dick Grove, Dow Maxwell, all the infielders, I would, I would go to first base and, and take throws while my dad was hitting the ground balls. And I remember one time, um, I can't remember if, if it was Dow Maxwell or Kim Boyer, uh, it was one of the first throws I made over the first base, and they, they didn't put a whole lot on the throw because they, they guess they thought they were scared to get hurt me. But uh, my dad hollered out there and says, "Throw it over there like you're throwing somebody out. He'll catch it." <laughs> and which I didn't have any problems catching them. And, and, um, and then sometimes my dad would take me down to the bullpen and he let me throw to a catcher. And that's when I, I would pretend that I was a left-handed Bob Gibson. Um, but I, I, I met Bob, got to know him. I got to know Stan Musial, uh, Lou Brock, uh, Kurt Flood. I got to know all those guys on a personal daily basis. And in 1964, which was a magical year for the St. Louis community and St. Louis Cardinal fans, of course, when they beat the Yankees in the World Series. And I consider myself the uh, 26th player on the team because I was with them that whole summer, um, every day when they were at home. And to me, that was a highlight of, of, of of my dad's career and unfortunately you know, I, I had a chance to play professional baseball and, and actually I spent 1975 in Little Rock, Arkansas, the Arkansas Travelers, uh, the double AA affiliate for the Cardinals. So I got to play for the team that I grew up loving. I got to play for them one year in double A, which was a treat for me, but I'll always remember 1964 uh, because of beating the Yankees who I did not like. <laughs> And uh, it just brought back, it brings back a lot of good memories when I think about the years that we spent in St. Louis and a lot of these items, or all, most of the items that I have up for auction, most of the pictures that are autographed, I personally went around the clubhouse and had the, had the players sign them. Uh, some things my dad had, had the players sign them, but most, most of the things I have that are autographed are, are pictures or balls that I went around the clubhouse and got the signature personally. So. Um, these are all authentic items. Um, 
I, I, like I say, I was the one that, that, that got most of the autographs. Um, there's a lot of real neat items up for auction that I think anybody, any, especially any Cardinal fan, would love to have. And I'm hoping that most of these items will go to a St. Louis Cardinal fan. Um, if you want to stop it there, but I'm going to look. So, anyway, that's going to be the first item I've got to size. You know, it's wrong. Uh, these are made in China, so these are obviously not from the 60s. These are, um, I'm going to stop here.